Welcome back. It's good to see you again. You look great. Today I'm going to be giving you my long-term review of the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organizer. This particular model is made of both canvas and print. I've had it for about six years or so. It's been really heavy in my rotation over that time, and I just found myself recently switching back to it. So I figured I'd share some insight if you're into this type of thing or if you're in the market for a luxury wallet. But before we get started, if you've watched a few videos of mine and you like the content that I produce, I would be extremely grateful if you consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. All right. So as you would expect from a luxury brand, it's a really nice unboxing experience when you first get the wallet. It's a super nice box and inside the wallet also came inside of a dust cloth. And when I originally purchased it, they even took a ribbon and wrapped it in a bow for me. And as I mentioned before, this particular model is made of canvas and leather. And the canvas is actually coated in some type of protective glaze. I know it sounds super weird, but the best way for me to describe how it feels is like a linoleum floor tile. I know that probably sounds really terrible, but it's not as bad as it sounds, I promise. So the wallet has one pocket on the outside, six individual pockets on the inside, and then an additional pocket on each half of the wallet tucked behind each of the pockets that I just mentioned. And one thing you need to know for sure is that this wallet takes a very long time to stretch. But now that the wallet's worn a bit and the leather is stretched, I'm comfortable carrying eight, nine, 10 cards in this thing, plus a little bit of cash. But I will say that the V-shaped pockets were always a little easier to get into, so maybe you'll wanna carry your most used cards over there. Now, of course, your mileage may vary just based on how thick your cards are, but that's what I was able to get into it. With pieces of leather essentially separating each card, you'd be surprised of how quickly your wallet will thicken up. So I can't really complain, I do think that the wallet has worn pretty well over the last six years. But I will mention, right at the seam where the wallet opens and closes, on the inside you can see that the glaze and the canvas is cracked over time. Honestly, I don't find this a huge deal. I don't feel like it impacts the integrity of the wallet, but I am very gentle with the stuff that I own and it is cracked pretty heavily, so I figured it's worth mentioning. Now, we'll say that the first one that I got of these actually had a stitching issue about a year into owning it, and I had a really good experience with their customer service. Luckily, I live near a store, so I was able to go there and purchase the wallet and handle this service issue, but rather than doing any repairs, they just let me pick something else out from the store, and that is the one that you're seeing here. So yeah, it is unfortunate that I had that stitching issue to begin with, but it was nice that I was able to get it handled with no problem. Now this may be a very different experience from dealing with their customer service over the phone. I've never had to do that, so I really can't speak to it. And from my understanding, they really don't have an explicit warranty period. You just kind of have to call them or go in and tell them what's going on and they will evaluate your case from there. And I don't know how they would handle the issue that I'm dealing with now, given that it's been so long, but if I decide to try to get it repaired, I'll let you know the outcome. And now, Overall, do I think that the wallet is worth the four to $500 price tag? In the big scheme of things, absolutely not, but I will say that it depends. If this is just something that you're using to hold your money, no. I mean, you can get a rubber band and it will do exactly the same thing. But if you're into these types of accessories and you value these types of things and you wanna add something to your collection, then yeah, it might be worth it. I mean, I'm really into wallets and bags and fashion to an extent, so I can say that it was personally worth it for me at least, and I plan on keeping it in my rotation for the foreseeable future. But if you do decide to purchase one, I would take into consideration some of the things that I mentioned earlier with how it wears. But as far as quality is concerned, I really can't say that this is better than, you know, a Delroy, which is, what, a quarter of the price. And that about wraps things up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, I would be extremely grateful if you pressed the like button before you left and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later.